So this is a shot which causes a lot of club golfers a lot of problems. The greenside bunker shot. So we're going to step into the bunker now, have a look at technique, see if we can give you some advice here that's going to help your game, make you a better bunker player. We've had a beautiful uh, morning out on the course today, but uh, the last few days it's been really quite wet, so it's quite deceiving. The top surface of the sand is quite dry, but underneath it's quite wet. So the only way I can really test the texture of the sand is with my feet. So when I get into the, uh, to make my base, to make my stance, I'm just going to nuzzle my feet down, just test that texture. And it feels quite heavy actually, quite, quite compact underneath. So I've decided to use a 60 degree wedge here. It's got eight degrees of bounce. But there's enough bounce there really to skip through. It's quite compact. Obviously, if I was playing a, a Lynx course or a seaside course with sandy bunkers, um, I'd probably need to use a little bit more in the bounce uh, department, probably like a 12 degree bounce, just to help me get that club through the, uh, through the sand. But this is gonna be sufficient for the, today's shot. So technique wise, what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna set myself in square to my target line. So I'm parallel to the ball to target line with my feet. I put a line across my toes. The ball position is going to be in the center of my stance. Okay, nicely there with the shaft pretty much vertical in front of me. So I'm just going to turn the club face very slightly. I don't need to lay it open all the way. I've got 60 degrees on this wedge. There's sufficient loft on this club. So I'm just going to tweak it open very slightly like so. The one thing I like to do when I settle in is just sit back slightly into my heels. Okay, so what that's actually going to do by lowering myself, people ask me the question, where do I hit the, uh, the sand behind the golf ball? I try not to really think about that too much. I focus just behind the ball, but just by lowering my body here, I'm actually going to lower the bottom of the club's arc through impact. So it's actually going to enter the sand underneath the ball. So it's a, Sitting back nicely there into my heels, shaft vertical in front of me. Now, the last little check I do is just get my left shoulder, so it's just down slightly towards the target, so I'm just leaning about 70% of my weight onto my lead side or the side closest to the target. Okay, so I'm right now ready to pull the trigger. So I'm in a good place now. I'm gonna really get those wrists hinging, like so. Now, when I start the downswing, once I feel I've got that shaft marrying it with the forearm there. I'm gonna get the lower body to pull me round. So that's important. Really get that lower body to pull me round. There's a lot of pace on the club because the wrists have been very active. Okay, I'm not trying to steer the club and push that leading edge into the ball. I'm get, letting the club do all the work. So a lot of pace on the club. So you might find when you try this for the first few shots, you might blade a few or leave a few in the bunker and it might feel very alien. But over time, the more you practice this, and the more you really start slapping that club into the sand and really getting that bounce angle working, that ball's gonna react, it's gonna pop out nicely. So be patient, take your time, it will improve your game.